But then there are some variations and chord changes and stuff that go into it. So if you look on the chart, <coughs> you play the whole uh, sort of intro section. Uh, that riff just repeats over and over again, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Then we start the verse. And in the verse, it repeats a few times. But then we, uh, on bar one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to do a slight change. We're going to go to the A chord, basically. So let me show you that again. So you, you kind of start the riff. And then you go to the A on the and of two. So we go right up the minor scale there. To an E, and then down to a low F sharp, and back to the A. A lot of times people want to play the G there, but uh, on the record it's an F sharp. Then we have uh, a rest there, and we go to this sort of walk down riff where the band is, is mellowing out. And there's a few chords in there. We start on a B. Sorry. B, A, G, and then G again. Three, four for two bars. And then uh, we go back into the other riff. But one of the things uh, about coming back into the riff, and actually when the riff starts, it's anticipated. So it comes in on the eighth note. Uh, the and of four of the bar before. So one, two, three, four, and. So uh, let me take it from the beginning of the verse where actually the singing starts. I'm going to play the riff six times and then I'm going to do that variation going to the A chord. One, two, there's no anticipation here because we're coming uh, from the intro right into this. One, two, three, four. So this, I just played the second ending here. If you see on the chart, the first ending has that walk down going from B, A, down to G. But then the second ending, we go up to it an F and do this uh, other sort of walk down part before we get to the next section, the breaks, what I call the break section. So um, let me play from slowly going uh, from the, the riff that goes to the A chord and I'll play through the second ending here. So. And uh, remember, we're um, in the key of E minor, which the relative measure of that, or major key of that, is G. And we're sort of moving to G for the, the break section. So, and we land on a G. Now we're at the break section. Um, and at the beginning of the break, it's just the guitar for a while, I guess. Uh, a few bars. And then this is where we're going to have some interesting rhythms because Chris in the record plays a lot of variations on this next section, the break section, where he's playing the G, the F, natural, and the low E. Um, even though we're in the key of G, we're sort of playing around with G mixolydian. It's really the mode of the key that we're, we're in temporarily, so it's not an F sharp like the key of the of the, the overall key of the song, um, we're in a sort of a temporary mode of G mixolydian. So that's how you can think of this. And hence the F natural. <laughs> 
So that's how we get into the section. Then, uh, let's see, uh, however many bars later. Oh, this is the other. This is, this is going to be part of the advanced part of the song. We have some meter changes in the song. In the break section, it goes like this. Three bars of four, and then one bar of two. And that's the cycle. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one, two. That's how it's counted. And uh, it'll it start to make sense as you get used to this. I mean, that's the way we have to break it down to make the music make sense, is we have to put that bar of two in there. Uh, so let's just take a look at it. Now, it's really... Um, just quarter notes and eighth notes here, but it's the way it gets syncopated and gets off beat. We have some tied notes across the bar, um, keeping things in the off beat. Um, and so it can get, it's going to get confusing because he's kind of improvising this. So, but I've, I've broken down most of these rhythms and uh, uh, the riffs for most of the song. At the very end, um, uh, I didn't chart out absolutely every note, but for the majority of the song, I have it here. So. You can learn a lot of these uh, patterns that he's using, and then you can maybe improvise on it a little bit. Again, we're just using G mixolydian to, uh, uh, that's the scale of the moment here.